We are back, data download time. As the population of our country has grown, the size of the House of Representatives has not. But why not? It's leading to questions about how representative the People's House really is. It doesn't have to be this way because it wasn't always the case. Believe it or not, it's only been over the last hundred years that we haven't expanded the House. To refresh, we're at 435 House members, and it comes out to one per 765,000 Americans. That ratio is actually uh, quite big. In the Taft administration, when we were still expanding the House every uh, 10 years or so, we were at one per 210,000. But we stopped expanding the House a little over 100 years ago, and we have ballooned to where we are today. And it actually puts us outside the norm in Western democracies when you compare our lower uh, chamber in the legislative branch to other lower chambers, the ones most connected to the population. We're one per 750, essentially. Japan is one per 272. Mexico, one uh, per 250,000. You see here, South Korea, Australia, all much lower ratios than ours, leading folks to say, maybe this ought to change. In fact, Democratic Congressman uh, from Oregon, Earl Blumenauer, has introduced a bill that would expand the House of Representatives by 150 seats for the 2030 census to get our ratio down to about one per 500,000 residents. Having a little more of a closer, get a member of Congress, a little more of a, of a tighter community, they might be, be more representative of the people on the ground. So what would this do to congressional delegations across the country? Well, Delaware and the two Dakotas might actually double in size, go from one member of Congress to two. Alaska, Vermont, and Wyoming, who are all still one seat, uh, would probably still only have one. But take a look at this. This is how the delegations would change in the big states. California would go from 52 congressional seats to 70. Texas, 38 to 51. Florida and New York both would expand by 10 congressional seats. Pennsylvania by six. So it would be uh, quite the change to our electoral college. But guess what? It might make members of Congress in Washington a little more connected to the people on the ground. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.